Hello friends, you are watching C Programming Tutorial Classes brought to you by AngPro Training. Hello guys, this is part 2 of Memory Management in C Program. In the last class, we have learned the malloc function and free of function. malloc function allocates a block of memory specified uh, by the number inside the parenthesis and today we're going to learn how C alloc function works right the main difference between C alloc function is it is going to allocate a number of blocks uh, each of whose size is specified by the size here right see malloc allocates only a fixed uh, fixed block which is a single block of memory whose size is specified by the number given here the bytes which is an integer specifies the total number of bytes of uh, which is the memory is going to have and clock function uh, takes two parameters one is num another one is size so it is going to allocate number of blocks specified by the number here uh, each of which size is specified by the size variable right say suppose if I put C alloc 2 comma 2 that means it is going to give me two blocks each block size is specified by the size uh, variable right so C alloc um, generally C alloc allocates multiple blocks whereas M alloc allocates single blocks that is why C alloc contiguous allocation right and friends in this program I'm going to show you the C alloc function which normally allocates specified number of blocks and so in this program I'm going to accept a set of integers I'm and I'll add up all together and print the sum so using that I need an array normally we store a series of integers in an array but now I'm not going to do the normal array here rather I'm going to I allocate the memory in the form of array using C alloc function right so first I'll declare the variables which are needed for me so one is the pointer pointer variable which is going to hold uh, the first memory address which is written by which is returned by the C alloc function and I need one for variable and the sum uh, which is initialized with zero right and I need one more variable which is limit of array right so here first I'll tell the user to enter the number of elements enter the number of elements enter the number of elements to add right Scan F. So n will be my limit here. So n holds uh, the total number of elements that I'm going to add up together, right? So now I'm st I'm storing the pointer returned by the C alloc function inside the PTR variable. So C alloc normally takes two parameters. So n the total number of blocks, total number of blocks of memory and m the size of each block, right? So both should be in uh, the integer format. So I want say suppose n number of blocks because n is the total number of elements that user are going to input, right? So I want n blocks of memory each of which is equal to the size of integers because user is going to enter the integer so I want n many number of integer blocks of memory right so I want n number of blocks each of which size is uh, I'll calculate using the size of variable size of int so I can also specify uh, okay sorry 
I can also specify the size of int uh, instead of this I can also put 2 2 which means the size of int is there in my computer system so this also work fine but to be specific I'm using the size of operator so using this uh, this program will work fine in any other computer system because it calculates the size of integers for that particular machine all right so now I have successfully allocated the n number of blocks and the size of each block is uh, given here and the pointer to the first memory block is returned to the variable ptr now ptr holds the, the memory address now ptr holds the memory address of the first memory block so using the for I am going to add all together right so first I'll initialize i with 0 i is less than n right so this is uh, this is my limit and the total number of elements that that many times the for loop is going to be uh, iterated i plus plus so here I'm going to accept the elements scanf percent d comma so I have to specify the memory location that the first element will be stored right so where is the first element where is the first memory location what is the address of the first memory location so normally we are using ampersand and some variable name here right so to get the address of A if I have already have uh, the address in stored in some variable I can directly use that because PTR has got the memory address of the first byte so I can use the PTR variable here which uh, which is telling the compiler the address of first memory block or first memory byte right so now the uh, variable or the integer is stored in the address specified by ptr variable now I can use that sum is equal to sum plus the content of the content referring by the variable ptr this means star ptr specify the number stored in the memory address specified by ptr right so star ptr indirectly referring to the content of the first block of memory right so now I have stored so I have to increment PTR to move to the next block right PTR is a pointer variable which holds the uh, first uh, memory addresses first memory block holds the address of first memory block so if it is incremented it is pointing to the next block so I should in increment this pointer and after iterating through all the elements I should get the sum and I am going to print the sum the sum is equal to percent D comma sum so after entering the elements I should tell the user here to enter the elements right okay now everything is fine let's go and run this control f9 enter the number of elements say 3 enter the elements now 5 5 and 5 so the sum is equal to 5 so using n I have inputted uh, the total number of blocks that I want so calloc function calculated the size of each block and return the pointer of the first block to this PTR variable so here I successfully iterated through all the memory locations storing storing a number in each block and I've successfully calculated the sum so this is how we can achieve allocating the memory blocks of any size right so I hope you understood this program now now I'm going to extend the memory allocated by the calloc function for that I will use the realloc function 
right so this function is going to uh, is going to extend the memory that has been allocated already by the calloc function so for that i need to have uh, the pointer which is stored i mean the content of the pointer in one more variable say suppose old is equal to ptr so i'll declare that variable here so old is also a pointer which stores the same content of ptr right i'm just copying uh, the content of ptr into the old variable so now old is also a pointer which contains the same address as in the ptr because after when i am iterating through all the memory locations the content of ptr is not same as uh, the value it has got before right it will be on the somewhere after the current position so i want its previous value which is old or which is stored in the old because now i'm going to reuse it in the realloc function right so to reallocate i'll uh, i'll go and ask ask the user if he wants or not uh want to add more numbers enter the number of elements right if he wants to add more numbers he'll enter uh, the number of elements so here i'll accept those number number of elements i mean the number of elements percent d i can reuse the variable n here and percent n so now i'm going to reallocate the memory i mean now i'm going to extend the memory that has been already allocated so for that i'm going to use the same ptr variable realloc so realloc function also takes two parameters here say suppose n and m n is the old pointer uh, the pointer which was pointing to the first memory location earlier so i have got it in my old variable so m is the new memory size right uh, so here i'll pass the old pointer so here i have to specify the total number of blocks that i need now all right star n so this will be int so total number of blocks that i need now n will be the limit that i have entered now that is multiplied with the int right so i have to reuse the score so the same code will be executed right control insert shift insert right again the user is going to oh, enter the elements this time my limit will be n yes everything is fine here okay control insert shift insert right so let's run this program control f9 enter the number of elements say 3 enter the elements 5 5 and 5 so the sum is 15 want to add more numbers enter the number of elements so now i want to add four more elements enter the elements now 4 4 4 and 4 so now the sum is 16 16 plus 15 should be 31 yes the sum is equal to 31 so realloc function takes the old pointer and the total number of bytes that we are going to extend it to and this will return the pointer the new pointer which this um, which is the starting point of the new set of blocks right i hope you understood this program try out this program well friends that's it for the class subscribe to our channel on youtube like our page on facebook follow us on twitter and join our group on linkedin thank you